Welcome back. Private equity investments into real estate is slowly picking up and 2016 is likely to end with a 30% spike in total private equity investments. That's good news. But the bad news is that private equity funds have lost their appetite for residential projects. CNBC TV teams Kevin Lee and Ritu Singh bring us this report. 43,600 crore rupees. That is the amount of money private equity funds will have invested in the Indian real estate projects this year if current trends hold. According to real estate consultancy firm Cushman and Wakefield, this would be the highest private equity investment in Indian real estate since 2008. But in a sharp contrast to previous years, it's commercial projects and not residential ones that have become the flavor of the season. The three biggest private equity investments in 2015, for instance, went to residential projects by Piramal Realty, followed by DLF's housing projects and Shaparji Palunji's affordable housing project. In 2016, however, the big bucks have gone to Hira Nandani's commercial assets in Pavai, LNT's retail space in Navi Mumbai, and Shet developers Viviana Mall in Thani. That's not to say that the residential projects have become pariahs. A lot of uh, international investors have put some money behind residential uh, assets also, under construction development assets as well. But the quantum is, uh, uh, you know, is lower as a percentage. Uh, compared to commercial assets. Experts attribute this change in preference to two key factors. One, delays in residential projects across cities have reduced the risk appetite of big foreign investors. And two, the government and the SEBI have both pulled out all the stops for REIT listings, which gives foreign private equity players a much easier exit route. That if uh, these companies can be structured properly uh, and they're, they're done correctly by the right sponsors, uh, you know, that will uh, uh, bring us to India and to, uh, uh, invest our capital under the right uh, circumstances. While commercial real estate developers are happy, many developers say this has put their residential projects on the back foot and experts say this could hurt the sector. The money is required today in the residential space to buy land, even for the commercial at the land stage, which is not coming today. There is some hope that this may change soon. But it may not be enough to make a significant change to the ratio for 2016. And 2015 scenario where 71% of real estate investment went to residential projects cannot be recreated. In Mumbai with Kevin Lee, Ritu Singh.